Hero Honda Hunk underwent some minor cosmetic upgrades recently, which is referred to as the 2011 Hero Honda Hunk. Here is the video review of this bike explaining all the features of the bike. Hello and welcome to the video review of 2011 Hero Honda Hunk by BikeAdvice.in. The looks of the 2011 Hero Honda Hunk impressed me to a certain extent, but it evidently revealed the fact that it was not very different from her predecessor, the old hunk. Visually, the headlamp visor has undergone a slight plastic surgery to get a muscle bike touch, and I would say that Hero Honda has succeeded in its attempt as well. This is the most visible of all the minor changes that this bike has been incorporated with. What impressed me in this bike is its instrumental cluster. Hero Honda prefers it being called Anno Digital Speed Panel, which is a combination of both analog and digital speedometer. There is only a slight pinch of digital effect and the rest of the cluster is dominated by analog devices itself. Though it's not completely digitalized, as I've been telling, it looks really macho in terms of layout. The tachometer dominates the cluster with its bigger dial. The border of this entire cluster is chrome-tipped, adding to its gorgeousness. And you know what? The 2011 Hero Honda Hunk has a clock, too, apart from two trip meters. The LED taillight is not so catchy. The reason is that the brightness is very low compared with the other LEDs in the market. As in the case of 2011 Charisma ZMR, there are pinches of Astra Gold here and there. The front shocks and the GRS suspension are Astra Gold touched and look very neat and decent. There is too much color in every single hunk. In the red hunk we rode, most of the body area is red colored. The grab rail and the area above the tail light, a kind of grayish black matte finished, and the muffler cover is glossy black in color. I would call it a great color play. The body colored mirrors are cool enough to attract attention. The side air intake scoops remind me of the Yamaha Gladiator. Now let's get to the riding impression of the hunk. I started the bike and the first surprise waited right there for me. A mere touch with slight force is more than enough to ignite this bike. It's pretty similar to what we refer to as feather touch. Damn impressive. Right here, the 149.2 cc air-cooled single cylinder engine comes alive. The engine is capable of producing a maximum power of 10.6 kW at 8500 RPM and similarly a maximum torque of 12.8 Nm at 6500 RPM. The initial pickup of this bike is at par with the other fierce warriors in the market. When it comes to the gearbox, the five-speed gearbox is not as slick and sharp as the Yamaha's. There was this issue in the previous hunk as well. Though it's not irritating to use it, Hero Honda engineers could have worked on it a little bit more. But still, it's fine. At 146 kilograms, this bike is not heavy to handle and is easy to use in city maneuvering too. The riding comfort in this bike has nothing specific to talk about. As we've been seeing, the seat of Hunk is pretty different from the other bikes. It's not exactly split seats, but the height between the area for the rider and the pillion rider is really high. The one which we tested for bike advice was the single disc variant of Hunk. There is also the option of choosing with discs in both front as well as in the rear. The front disc is of 240 millimeters, which is really small and offers very poor braking experience, an issue worth concern. The Nitrox gas reservoir suspension offers good suspension in the rear. To mention about its tires, both are fitted with MRF Zapper tubeless tires and offer decent road grip. The five-spoke alloy looks cool and matches perfectly with the looks of this bike. And above all, guess what? The Hero Honda Hunk has no kicker to start the bike. The fuel tank in Hunk can hold 12.4 liters of petrol with a reserve capacity of 2.2 liters, which is ideal for a 150cc bike. There are, however, few drawbacks I observed with this bike. The Hunk doesn't even have an engine kill switch. Almost all bikes today come equipped with one. For guys like me who are used to using this switch in traffic signals to turn off the bike, it is pretty hard to get used to it. I don't know why this switch isn't present. That area of the handlebar is vacant anyways. The next is the way that the side stand is placed. It becomes a tedious task to get the side stand down while parking. The front foot pegs are retractable and need to be folded to use the stand. Could have been better designed. 
Overall, if you want a powerful and attractive city commuter, this is an awesome bike to go with. But if you expect a tourister kind of performance, think before you leap is all that I got to tell you. But if you have one already, no regrets. Lastly, to mention about its pricing, the single disc variant is priced at 69705 on road can I, and double disc variant is priced at 72995 on road can I. Overall, we at Bike Advice offer a comprehensive score of 3.5 out of 5 for the 2011 Hero Honda Hunk. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about the 2011 Hero Honda Hunk?